Hello guys and welcome back to episode 8 of Detroit Become Human. Last episode we were interrogating the deviant from the attic. I haven't seen you for a while. He was probably going to get locked up or I don't know what happens to these robots when they commit a crime, but we'll see. Uh, I think now we're going to be playing as Kara cuz uh we've already had the negotiator and we've already had Marcus, so now it's Kara's turn. And I'm still uh, curious whether Marcus is dead or not. The Marcus is the one from the, from the old guy with the paintings. Hopefully he's not dead. Alright, so we did uh, manage to get to downtown from the looks of it. Or right, oh, we're just arriving to downtown. We ran away from uh, Todd. I think that was his name. Oh, this guy gonna pick on us because we're not in All the right. back. End of the line. End of the line. Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Wake up. And this this guy's pretty normal with us. He's not not attacking the robot or treating us in a bad way yet. Alright, let's go for a shelter. Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. I think a, a bridge would do. <clears throat> but I, I guess uh, Alice will be kind of cold in this rain. Oh, yep, yeah, she's already. She's already. Uh, you gonna be okay? Uh, we could just put Alice like... into a dumpster. I, I heard it's warmer in there. And just wake her up in the morning. Find shelter for the night. All right, so we got burger. Okay, we can get food. There's some robots there. I guess we can communicate with them. Um, I believe that's going to be a dead end that way. So Come on, Alice. We've got to hurry. Let's go see what these robots have to say. Maybe we can ask something from them. Oh, there we go. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? What the fuck? Robots don't like robots, or what's up with that? All right, we need to find uh, some way to warm her up. Well, we can maybe make a fire. And this place looks like there's like a trash can that we could uh, put a fire in or make a fire in. Okay, so there's a store. Oh, what's uh, oh, uh, it's a dump truck. Okay, so if we do put Alice in the, into a dumpster, we gotta be careful that the dump truck doesn't take her and squish her. But, um, you know, we'll see what our possibilities are. Oh, so there's a motel there. And oh, we can check out the motel too, guys. There's some, um, fence there or something. Let's go check uh, what's up with this dump truck. Maybe we can hitch a ride. Maybe they can take us somewhere. We don't have money, I think, for the motel, so I don't think that would work. Oh, cool. There's a whole uh, map here. Oh, it's an autonomous. Okay, so I guess there's no one driving that dump truck. Why does she sit down? Oh, is I'm she getting okay. weak? I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. Oh, the Don't Tell Me it's the RA-49 thing. 
Or RA9. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Oh, what the fuck? That was some sort of uh, Houdini shit there. Come on, Alice. Well, she could stay here. Oh, I guess she'll get stolen. I was gonna have her uh, stay here while we look for something. So she's not in the rain, but... Well, I guess the best bet is to check out the hotel. Maybe we could, uh... Find some sort of room. I don't know if we have money. Uh, Marcus did buy things with that in little blue town. chip in her in, in his head. Looks like we found a place. So maybe we could uh, buy Stay. things with Todd's credit card. Like, this guy actually doesn't have money, right? So we probably won't be able to use it. No androids allowed. Forty dollars. Oh fuck. Pay in advance. Okay. We're not going in. We have to find forty dollars and get rid of this uniform. Or go somewhere else. Well, I don't think the uniform alone is enough. I mean, you've got a fucking blue chip in your head. All right. Let's see what we can do. On the laundry? Oh, yeah. Maybe we can... Uh, okay, I don't think we can pick up 40 bucks from here. Unless in the future, cleaning your uh, clothes is more expensive. So then you can find more money. But usually, it's warm in here. I would think you You'll find like $2, dollars, $3. Dollars, maybe if you're lucky at these places. That's uh, not gonna be enough. Well, maybe we can rob this guy. It looks like he's sleeping. He might have a wallet and we can take his money. Alright, guys, you know, you know, I'll just, uh, if you want to read it, pause the video. I'm just doing these uh, for the achievement, if there is any, and for the, the stats. <coughs> Program complete. Oh, look, there's a close in there. Well, we can give that to uh, to Alice. Dry clothes for Alice. Yeah, perfect. That should keep her warm. We don't need anything. I, I doubt we can doing? get cold. Shut up. We need them, Alice. You need something warm, and I need to get rid of this uniform. It's called survival. It is. Just shut the fuck up. Sit back down. Steal this. Sorry, Alice, but we have to do this. It's for your own good, girl. Just sit the fuck down. Jesus Christ, we're putting our life on the line and she's trying to ruin our plan. Alright, yeah, in this case... Yeah, fuck, Atlas doesn't like that. Okay. Um, what, why, why do we need this? Okay, I, I don't think we need this many clothes. We don't... Well, maybe we're getting it for ourselves, but that's stupid. We don't need clothes. I understood stealing clothes for the little girl, for Alice, but for us? Oh, there are no, like, surveillance cameras in this, uh, laundromat? Easily there is. Oh, yeah, there it is. At the entrance. Thought they're already coming for us. I thought it's some automated surveillance system, but we're lucky. Changed clothes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why we needed it, but okay. Actually, did we just cover our little blue chip with our hat? Maybe, maybe that wasn't a bad idea. Yeah, it looks like we did. All right, it's a good beanie. So um, let's see if we can get some warm food. Store, okay. All right, so we do have uh, two little things we can check there, but I did see something on this side of the street still, so we're just gonna go all the way to the end of it, see what we find there, and then we're gonna check this abandoned house. It looks like an abandoned house. Maybe we can take shelter. However, it does look like a place for junkies, and I have a feeling that this game... Uh, is Look, gonna put us into open. some situation we if we go inside. in there. Like uh, Alice is gonna gonna get attacked or something. So if we can, we'll try to avoid it. Can I help you? I'm with a little girl and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Look, this is a convenience store, lady, not the Salvation Army. 
I can't start handing out cash to every bum in the neighborhood. Okay, we can steal. All right. I mean, completely reasonable. I wouldn't give out money either. So I'd give them like a sandwich or something and then chat. But, you know, the thing is you do it once and you do, they keep coming back. This guy doesn't know that we're not homeless. We're just uh, unfortunate runaways. So let's see. Um, well, we don't have money, so I don't really see what we're doing here. But let's see how far we can get. So there's a camera here, which will... Uh, so it sees the the cash register. We can't really steal anything. Oh, cookies. Okay, so so we can uh, we could knock these over. I'm assuming that's what he's looking at. Okay, so I'm, I'm assuming we could set up a robbery here. Take steal. Ah. Uh, Nah, I, I, I don't know if that's a good idea yet. Oh, and he's looking at the surveillance cameras too, so everything we do is recorded. Oh, there's another one in that corner as well, so we can't really steal. Oh, can't interact with him anymore either. All right, well, well, let's see what our other options are. Oh, there's something this way too, okay. See, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to commit a crime because that will just make us bad robots. But right now, at the moment, we're not bad. I mean, maybe we could justify it from running away from a psychopath and trying to survive on our own because we don't know what to do. But um, we've already sold clothes. It's not that important to get food or anything that we can still survive. But at least we have some warmth. So, private property. All right, before I open that gate, I wanted to see what's here. Okay, so this does look like a junky place. Hell. At least we'd be out of the rain. I got a feeling that there's a bunch of uh, like other homeless people there. I know. Drug dealers and shit like that. No one will look for us here. So you might have to fight them. Can cut fence here with the thing. Okay, so I guess we have to uh, find the what with a bolt cutter. A better place. Huh, the irony. All right. Okay, so we're just gonna go back towards the car. We're gonna see if we can get to this house from the back side. Find wire cutter, okay. Squat in the house. Let's find shelter for the night, motel, squat house, sleep in car. Yeah, we did see a car when we came here, so I, I'm assuming that's the car that they had in mind, but let's go back to the laundromat. But, um, it, so I'm gonna try to see if we can go back inside. Maybe we could steal from this guy, we can take his money. And we're still not robbing a store. This guy might not know where we are. I don't know about the camera, but it looks like we can't even go inside. So that's that's not going to be an option. That's not going to be an option. All right. I guess we're going to check out this car. I did see a car on the other side of this fence. I'm assuming that's the car we could sleep in if we choose to. But that's not our car either, and I doubt anyone just would leave a car there. But it, it, it is Detroit, after all. And it is private property, so someone might be just stowing their car here. Oh, we're kind of off the street, so... It's not a bad thing. Okay. <clears throat> now what's this? Oh, the the fence cutter. I just cannot pick it up. Oh, may maybe that's not. Oh, yeah, it is okay. All right. So, yeah, this um, apparently this is the car we could hide out in. It looks abandoned. 
probably has an alarm, so I'm not gonna break the glass. And we can cut it to here. So let's let's cut it here because um, cutting it from the front, cutting it from the front might uh, give us away. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think it's safer here because it doesn't look like anyone's gonna be coming through there. And uh, if you cut it from the front, I'm afraid that people are going to investigate. Like if a police sees a fence being cut. Oh, that's another thing. Maybe we're caught cutting. But even even if there's a big hole in the fence, the police might investigate and find out we're like broken. And then we're going to have trouble. So either this place right? is actually... Oh, did we just fuck ourselves up? Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. Okay. Now... But what I was saying that either this place is actually abandoned and we are trespassing and we're gonna get in trouble or are there are a bunch of junkies here that are gonna kill us oh well not kill us but try to kill us so we might have to fight don't worry we're just having a fight and protect Alice all right so we already damaged our new jacket how sad At the moment, I don't see anything. Find a way in, squad and house. Yeah, we already are. Oh, find a way in here. Okay. Pull. I oh, know. Thanks. Can we not peek through it? Oh, look. Here we go. You see this graffiti inside. So we're not the first people to get in that house. That's for sure. Okay, the doors are locked. There must be another way in. If these are... Uh, oh, fuck. Alice! Oh, I think a junkie already found her. Shit. I should have paid attention where she's walking. Fucking hell. Oh, I told you. Oh, it's Wait, a robot. what are you doing? Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors. They're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. Uh, uh... She's innocent. I don't know what the humans did to you, but she had nothing to do with it. All humans won't hurt us. But Ralph won't let them hurt him again. That's not no, true. The, the, the Carl, the painter, didn't want to hurt Marcus at all. Look, I'm an android too. We have nothing to be afraid of. All we want is a place to spend the night. Jesus. Visitors are dangerous. I don't want to spend the night with this fucking moron. What they did to Ralph. Well, he went from red to yellow, so it's like... Seems like he's trying to understand us. Uh, reassure. Let's reassure this guy that we're gonna be you peaceful. Have nothing to worry about. We're not going to do you any harm. You have my word. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. What does schizophrenic robot now? Holy shit! Ralph has seen some hard times. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. All right, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure this little girl is not going to do anything. Uh, stay. Uh, we need, okay. we need to be a uh, fine shelter. Okay. We'll just stay the night. The motel wouldn't let us in because we're androids. Come on. I find it risky. Come, come, come on. This guy's risky too. I mean, I don't know if I'm it's making fine. a good choice here. Ralph has lived here since he ran away. Ralph never goes outside, so no one knows he lives here. He's outside he now. He come in to squat from time to time, but. You know, Ralph just hides till he leaves. <laughs> Come on. This might be a trap, actually. You can make yourself at home here. Ralph is going to go into the other room. He would like to stay with you. But he has things to do. Oh, what the hell is she going to do? Torture me? It's just for one night, Alice. We'll find a better place tomorrow. Right. Let's see where you can sleep. Sit down and I'll start a fire. Oh, we don't. We shouldn't be doing fires in this shit hole of a place. The whole house is going to burn down. And the smoke is going to give us away. We're not supposed to be here. I guess we don't have a choice. 
All right, nice. We have matches. So now we just need a uh, wood paper or whatever else so that we can make a, a fire, which I don't think is a good idea. I do not think making a fire is a good idea. I would never put my head on some fucking pillow in a shithole like this. We know what the fuck's on those pillows. That's you're not a young girl with like good skin. Holy shit, I would never ever. Now, this is gonna sound bizarre, but did you just read an article how robots are, are better sex companions? than actual humans so I'm pretty sure her stomach is soft uh, we could use her stomach as a pillow RA9. Kara stomach what does that mean oh this guy's a nutcase too what those symbols why are you writing that I don't know I'm telling you guys RA9 is a virus I don't know and it's infecting these robots and they're going crazy they don't even know what the fuck they're doing. Um, I guess we have no choice to leave this place as I'm not. Holy shit, this guy's nuts. I am alive. I am alive. Okay. Well, uh, I don't know if this is safe or not. Okay, I can't even go upstairs. It doesn't let me go up. Oh, it does. Okay. Fuck, the controls are weird. The fuck is going on? Okay, so we need firewood. Yeah, we need to collect wood. Okay. Well, there's wood. Oh, look at all the wood there. Why can't we uh, pick it up? There's more wood here, too. What the hell? Oh. Maybe we could take a shower. I guess maybe there's no water going to this house anymore. Oh, there's whiskey. Look at that. Alright. I don't think there's anything to do up here. I have no idea what the point of it was for us to come up here, but okay. Maybe later on. Where the fuck is the wood? I found some. Oh, there it is. Holy shit. I walked past so much good wood. And we need this shit. We have so much better wood back up there. I guess these this will do as well. If we need more wood, we know where to run. Actually, we might not have to do that. We might have to go get more wood and then we have to go upstairs. I have a bad feeling about this. I think uh, we're going to start making smoke or something's going to go wrong and we're going to give ourselves away. Alright. Well... There's no way for me to not make a fire. I mean, I'm pretty much forced to do it, so we're gonna do it. Kind of dumb. Because in my mind, I wouldn't do it. So if we you get fucked over right now because we're forced to make a fire, it will not feel not fair much, at, at all. Be warm. All right, let's let's try to comfort her because I'm pretty sure she's fucking traumatized from today. Why didn't he ever love me? I'm pretty sure he Why did. Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted I think was a he's, life uh, like other girls. She's talking about Todd, her father. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Pretty sure he did once in his life. Why can't we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. You'll sure you do. It was the drugs. I promise you'll never go. Fuck. We can't promise, but we have to promise to comfort her. I promise. Because, I mean, any time they could uh, kill us. Oh yeah, let's see forever. I got. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. 
If they catch us, we we stole the girl. Oh, fucking, we're a deviant that kidnapped the girl. Let's let's be realistic here. It's a different story that we did save her from our perspective, but no one's ever gonna believe it because robots don't do things out of their control, right? So um, we're not technically supposed to be stealing children, but we did. I mean, Alice could back us, and there's probably enough proof that the house where she lived was not safe. But still. Sleep tight, Alice. Uh, Lila, let's lie uh, down with her. We have nothing to do. Oh, we should have been uh, on the other side so she can get the fire. We're pretty much taking up all the heat. And like five minutes later, our throat's cut and we're bleeding to death here. This guy's still etching something into the wall. Crazy. Oh, well, it looks like that was an episode. That was an episode. All right. I thought I thought we were going to wake up and, and we're going to see what happens with this guy. I have a, a really bad feeling about that fire. And, and I don't really like this robot we're sleeping with or like sharing this house with at the moment. So we left the bus. 67, 70, okay, so more or less everyone did the same. Then inside laundromat, 78% went into the laundromat, so like 80%. 50, okay, so that's, that's the magazine, not many people. So only half of us actually stole clothes. 46 chose to wear the clothes and then leave the laundromat. I don't know what the other option is. So, um, this is pretty much all the same there. This is a dead end. I mean, we don't know what it is. Hold on, what, how, how did that look? I guess if you, if you found a place to stay at the motel, then you would go down that branch. Inside parking lot, 72% got to the parking lot. Leave parking lot, 56 left it. Okay. Take wire cutters. Yeah, we took the wire cutters. I'm assuming... I, I, said, I don't know. Oh, I guess the other one is the people that stayed in the car. This one would have went this way. If you would have t uh, stayed in the car. Um, down here, supermarket. So 81% got into the supermarket. 80% talked to the clerk. 1% probably ignored the guy. Noticed the cash register as everyone did. Notice can stack. Yeah, 52%. It. So I'm, I'm pretty sure we could have noticed more stuff, but I was kind of worried that if we start fucking around too much, we're going to draw too much attention. So I left. Um, Cut parking lot fence. So only 40%. So the others just left it. Oh, no. The others probably cut the fence from the front side. Okay, And this is what I avoided because I, I was... I had a bad feeling about that, but it looks like it would have had the same outcome. You would have got into the squat, then you meet Ralph, so it doesn't matter where you cut the fence, you get, you get to meet this guy anyways. So 50% roughly was able to convince him not to kill the little girl, or at least not to do anything stupid. Follow Ralph, okay. Start a fire, make a bed. So yeah, 46 throughout because everyone that got onto this path was forced to do all these things. Okay, so 44%. So of the 46%, 44% made the promise. 2% did not make a promise. Honestly, I would have done that too. But given that we're dealing with a little girl, I think it was safer to comfort her. And then we did sleep next to uh, Alice just to give her more comfort. Alice and Kara stayed in the squat, 46%. Okay, well, it was a solid episode. Can't complain about it. Not much has happened, though, but I'm pretty sure this is built up for something to uh, happen in the next episode with Kara and Alice. And I believe the episode that will follow this is actually going to be with Marcus if he's alive. If he's not alive, then we're going to be playing Connor. So we will find out soon if uh, Marcus is dead or if he's alive. But guys, this is going to be it for today. 
I hope you enjoyed it, even though it was a little slow. And we shall continue in the next episode uh, soon. So have a great day. Take care. Be safe. And goodbye for now.